Hey there, welcome to Tiny Elephant. In this video, we're going to be making a simple flower granny square. So grab your favorite hook, let's get right into it. We're going to start by making a magic ring. To make the magic ring, I prefer to wrap the yarn around my fingers twice. Insert the hook, pull through a loop, then chain one right away. And we're going to work 12 times of single crochet plus chain 3 into this ring. So work the first single crochet, it's our first stitch. Then simply chain 3. Followed by second single crochet. Chain 3. Just like this. So, here are my 12 single crochets and chain spaces. Now let's tighten the ring, so you'll have your yarn tail and two loops on the inside of the work. So very slowly and gently give your tail and a little bit pull, to see which strand of the double magic ring moves. Take that moving one, then we pull it firmly, so that it closes up this inner circle. Then, pull the tail end nice and tight and work a slip stitch to that first single crochet stitch of the round. It's our first round. You see the chain spaces, we will work our petals into those spaces. So chain 7. Now we'll work a difficult stitch. It's a kind of change Y stitch, but we'll mix it with cluster stitch. I'll show you how to do it. So at first, we will work a triple treble crochet stitch. To do this, yarn over 4 times. Insert the hook into the same space. Yarn over, and pull up a loop. Yarn over, and pull through two loops. Yarn over, and pull through two loops. Yarn over, and pull through two loops. Yarn over, and pull through two loops one more time. Now we have still two loops on the hook, leave it. We don't want to finish it right now. We will continue to make a treble crochet. So yarn over two times. If you look closer, you can see, there are four parallel strands on the body of the stitch. Insert the hook into the second one. At this point, we will take this two strands. So yarn over, and pull up a loop. Yarn over, and pull through two loops. Yarn over, and pull through two loops. Now we have three loops on the hook, yarn over pull through all the three loops. Now we finish this one stitch. Chain 7 again. Make a slip stitch into the same space. That complete our first petal. We will do it one more time together. So work a slip stitch to reach the next chain space. Chain 7.
Yarn over four times. Insert the hook into the same space. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through two loops. Yarn over and pull through two loops. Yarn over and pull through two loops. Yarn over and pull through two loops one more time. Now we have two loops on the hook. We will continue to make a treble crochet. So yarn over two times. Insert the hook into this two strands. So yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through two loops. Yarn over and pull through two loops. Now we have three loops on the hook. Yarn over pull through all the three loops. Chain 7 again. Make a slip stitch into the same space. That complete our second petal. We need 12 petals. I'll meet you back when I get to the end of this round. I made it all the way around. We should have 12 petals. We could cut the yarn. Okay. For round 3, we insert our hook into the top stitch of the petal. It can be any petal. Sew into this stitch. Pull through a loop of new yarn. Chain 1, work a single crochet in the same stitch. Then chain 4. In top of the next petal, we are going to work another single crochet. Then chain 3. Then move to the next petal. Here we are going to do a 2 double crochets cluster. Chain 2 Then followed by a 2 treble crochet cluster Chain 2 Then work another double crochets cluster So we have in this stitch 3 cluster stitches Chain 3 So we repeat the whole thing 3 more times Single crochet in the next petal Chain 4 Single crochet in the next petal Let's take a look at this We are going to work 3 cluster stitches in each corner So move on to next corner Chain 3 2 double crochets cluster Chain 3 again. Chain 2. 2 treble crochets cluster.
Chain 2 again. 2 double crochets clusters again. Chain 3. So just like this, keep going all the way around. At the end, join with a slip stitch to the first single crochet. We are going to do two rounds of single crochets. So we insert the hook into the first single crochet stitch, pull through a loop. Chain 1, work a single crochet in the same stitch. So we will work a single crochet in each stitch. For stitches in chain 4 space, single crochet in single crochet stitch. In chain 3 space, we work 3 stitches. Like this. We reach now the corner, in the treble crochet cluster stitch, we will work 3 single crochets. So go ahead and repeat the round. Join with a slip stitch. Last round. We are going to work a single crochet in each stitch. In the corner 3 stitches, so in the second stitch, we work 3 single crochets. Finally, join with a slip stitch. Now our granny square is done. Isn't it easy? See you in the next video.